1863. On this Sunday, 17th of June, in the year 2018. My friends, look on the table and on the wall. interesting and how intriguing a red Indian lady and her daughter look into the distance the cross stands before her and then Jehovah in white emeralds, whose centerpiece is the white rose, stands majestically aside Newtonian rings. Far down on the table, Jehovah's tent formations in red Naturally, whose centerpiece is the red rose depicting mankind. My friends, only last week Jehovah consisted of ten formations. And now it is 20 and the population of man has increased twofold. My optimism knows no bounds. From just a handful of Homo sapiens sapiens on the world stage in the 16th century AD, we are now a tumultuous order of an intriguing species ready to go long distances fast. My friends, the facts on the table cannot be disputed. The Bible and Quran played their part, and the corn speaks for itself, as well as music, song and dance. The holy temple, standing high, has been cleansed and looks down on twins, as if to say, there is more room for Homo sapiens sapiens now than at any other time. My friends, remarkably, our population has increased nearly to the 8 billion marker, even after two world wars of the 20th century. The weight of us does not seem to disturb 
the movement of the holy temple. But the latter shudders at the thought of an atom bomb. My friends, a glancing meteor from outer space could easily wipe us out. There has been an incident like this many generations ago, but they are rare. Nevertheless, it is heartwarming to think that we would be safe with the Newtonian rings in our pocket. My friends, the sheer delight on the table of William Shakespeare and man having a United Nations where jaw jaw is better than war war. My friends, war is considered to be a sinister companion. I, Alan, detect that the attitudes of man are slightly receiving an awakening. Change has always been one of our finest features. Health and help for the poor and disabled. Yet more skills designed for the extermination of mankind is a paradox. I, Alan, stand before you as a paradox of goodwill, yet absurdity brought to life by unusual circumstances. The road was blocked when I was told to turn right, then left, and left again. I was saved. I settle in my modest home with quick access to town and country. My medalla oblongata said hello to my cerebellum. There shall be no war on the world stage. We do not greet a missile from outer space, nor an atom bomb of self-destruct. We are music, song and dance, sport, and Moses of the Ten Commandments, and the one and zero, and the binary one and zero, connected to Sir Isaac Newton, and time travel. My friends, there has to be a time when war will be no more. That time is now. Not yesterday or tomorrow, but now. And introducing the Newtonian rings of past, present, and future. 
the very being of the name Jehovah orders it. Jehovah is not an alternative. He is every atom and subatomic particle of our body and of all existence. My friends, the Holy Temple is alive and well. The continents have drifted apart. We sail the oceans. We fly the skies. Almost each man has a motor car. He definitely has a computer and mobile phone. We glory at saving lives under the surgeon's knife. Yet fighting and killing continue unabated. My friends, I want you all on the world stage to turn right, then left, and left again. I want all persons to receive satisfaction and achievement in curtailing that which has maligned our species. My friends, we are heaven made from the three tenses and atoms and subatomic particles from Jehovah. We are the name Jehovah himself integrated within his body of the white upright and the red lateral. My friends, I say time and time again, it is indeed time and space and the atoms of the periodic table. We are Jehovah himself, yet in muscle and blood and skin and bone. shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the placement of the twenty formations of Jehovah forevermore. Jehovah responds if the twenty formations are not enough, there is always that little bit extra of the void that we will civilize. I, Alan, say to Jehovah, help us to start the peace trains to err, and I will give you your suggestion in discussion with 
Abraham. My friends, the world stage in block 363 in the year 2018 on the 17th of June. All life forms are so incredible, I cannot conceive them anywhere other than on our holy temple. We enter a period of instant communication and skills. We shall further our ability in the understanding and appreciation of all life forms, including our own species, Homo sapiens sapiens. My friends, Israel and Palestine working together on the peace trains to Ur would cause the beginning without an end, finally encompassing all twenty formations of Jehovah in white and red, in peace everlasting. My friends, Abraham, father of Ishmael, Isaac and Jacob, calls us to err. The peace trains to err will deliver the goods. My friends, a simple, inexpressive gesture of Palestinians and Israelis working together on the tracks to Ur brings together Ishmael and Moses. War has no purpose other than the demise of Jehovah and an end to life. <laughs>